This is Shimmer Glass. Wine glasses from the Sydney Opera House recorded with various microphones. You have a Townsend L22 stereo microphone. It sounds like this. And a pair of DPA 4011s uh, that I reversed uh, within the contact uh, instrument. It, they sound like this. Uh, you'll just have to wait for it. I'm pressing the key right now. This is the C. So let us just wait for it. And I'm pressing some more keys now. This would be a nice chord. Wait for it. If I use the mod wheel and CC11 at the same time, you'll get this, listen. The mod wheel gives you some distortion. And CC11 controls a low pass filter. And you also get a mono signal here, a, a U47 clone. Sounds like this. And with full volume. All right, so let us bring everything back to uh, sort of a mix, like this. If you click the unicorn, you get some extra features like a fake round robin and a convolution reverb, a delay and a second reverb. So let's listen to the delay. And I'm going to crank it up all the way to 12. It's a long stereo delay. And the reverb. Finally, we have a convolution effect. It's actually both a delay and a reverb that's been put together in an effect chain. When the convolution effect is engaged, mod wheel controls not only distortion, but also how much of this reverb delay chain you get in the mix. So it sounds like this. This is the mod wheel all the way down. And this is with the mod wheel all the way up. You'll find that this is a really, really long <laughs> delay and reverb effect, so it will go on for a long time. If we combine everything using the low pass filter and the mod wheel, you can do something like this. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and to ding that bell. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs>